Hi everybody, welcome to Jake's Showcase. I do videos on Wednesdays. Well, I got some real good news. I just passed 1,000 subscribers, which was one of my two main goals, and I'm really, really happy about it. And today, what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, tell you the things I didn't do and the things I did do to get me 1,000 of subscribers on Simply Heart. All right, let's take a look. Well, it was at 7:41 today, which is uh, December 11, 2013, that I passed 1,000. I'm now 1,001. My channel was actually started on July the 7th, 2012. But my first video wasn't up until the uh, until uh, July the 8th. So I count July the 8th as being my initial start day. And uh, okay, so first of all, I'm going to tell you things I didn't do. Um, the first thing that I uh, I didn't do. Uh, was I didn't I didn't buy subscribers. There's a way for people to go and go on to some of these online shoddy places, and you can you can actually purchase you know uh, so many subscribers, and they'll send them to you. But they're all like you know who knows who these people are, right? They, I don't feel like that's a real display of talent. Another really common thing is um, subscriber for subscriber. So you know I'll subscribe to you if you subscribe to me, etc. And it looks like we both have more numbers, but Really, I figure nobody's really watching doing that, and it's really, again, it's not really a display of talent, it's just a numerical tally. And the third way I didn't do, which is probably the shadiest way of all, I don't even know if people do this or not, but like make your own accounts and then subscribe to yourself to make it again look like you have, you know, so many subscribers. So, you know, I didn't do any of those things. Now, one way that's real common, that's legitimate, is staying consistent with the topics that you do. So if you really like health, or maybe if you're really into cooking, or maybe if you're really into comedy, right? Just con being consistent with the type of content that you upload, and the reason that that's good is because people who uh, like your material, they all have friends who might also like your material too, and usually what that does is that helps elevate your, you know, they might say, hey, yo, you gotta check this guy out, you know, he really knows this topic or that topic, and you know, that's a really you know common way for people to go up, but you see. The way I looked at it, the way I looked at it was, is that, you know, I'm a broad, diverse person, and I have lots of things, and if I, you know, I like, I like presenting in so many different ways, I wanted to sort of showcase the, you know, different ways that I could do it, like how-to videos, or comedy videos, or fitness videos, and all the different variety of stuff that I do. And I figured, you know what, think about it. The internet, right, has people searching about all sorts of stuff. So if you really love presenting and you love the camera like I do, right, why not try and present everything? It does slow down your subscriber growth, but you know what, that's okay. Because in the long term, you know, it just, it feels good, right? Okay, so the way I looked at it, it was sort of envisioned in myself that I had this giant auditorium. Right, and the capacity was 1,000 subscribers. Right, and I figured, well, if I could get 1,000 subscribers, right, then that means I got a full house every time I upload a video. Right, so 1,000 subscribers is sort of like the bare minimum of that means oh, you're successful on YouTube. That's the way I looked at it. Right, the other goal I have is 1 million views channel wide. Right, so I looked at 1,000 subscribers and 1 million views channel wide as being sort of like the benchmarks of success on YouTube, and. Uh, so I looked at this auditorium and for the first 500 subscribers what I would do is every time I got a new subscriber I would email them a thank you. I'd say yo thanks a lot for subscribing and um, at that time you could tell what country they're from so if I knew something about that country or if I had an interest in that country it might say a little something try to make it a little specific. After I hit 500 I sort of was hit and miss with that but you know I uh, I basically felt like by engaging them that way, by saying thank you, thank you for subscribing, maybe, maybe even please tell your friends, something like that. You know, that was one of the keys. And the other thing I did that was, uh, is I always try to stay consistent on my upload times on Wednesdays. Now, sometimes, at least at first, I would even upload more than that. And sometimes I do. Sometimes I upload twice a week. But by at least having that one time a week, you know, people know to come and they can check you out. They can check you out. They can check you out. Right? And, you know, so that's basically my, my encouragement is to make sure that, you know, you, you know, you stay authentic, right? You stay yourself, right? And you, you stay encouraging and, you, you know, the engagement of the, um, of people is really, really uh, a good way to get them to help you spread the word about what you want. So I'm feeling like A plus today and uh, I, I encourage uh, anybody out there uh, because I have started from nothing, nothing. Right, and I have uh, done as many best practices as I could, uh, you know, on YouTube, and I feel like, uh, you know, 
anybody can still do it, right? You know, I feel like, you know, at least for a subscriber level, I, you know, made it. I made my goal, and I'm really, really happy about that. Now on to the next one, which is 1 million views, and I don't know when that'll be or if that'll ever happen, but I'm really happy today, and thanks so much for watching Jake Showcase, and uh, please like my video below, subscribe to my channel up above, and have a wonderful day.